All right, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakurash, to honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim Wa Akwath, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. Another video through the Spirit. And Brother Malak from GMS Detroit. A, uh, you know, I had the brothers here from Wisconsin earlier. We was doing some good spiritual talk, and this word zombie came up. Uh, and the brother uh, Yira, he had mentioned. Uh, how you know zombie the word has some spiritual meaning behind it and i was like damn so he looked it up and it sure does y'all and i'm going to be taking this word and applying it to many israelites today this is why the elder apostle tahar he says that many jake are zombies matter of fact let me show let me see let's do this right let's go to let's see this right here uh a little too much zombie juice uh <laughs> what is a zombie all right, so this is some. This is a something that the apostle he'll be he'll he'll throw at Jake, meaning what zombie brained, zombie minded, right? So what does it mean now in pop culture? When we think of the word right, uh, you know, dead, uh, undead, living motherfuckers want to eat your brains and eat your flesh. Nah, nah. When we when we are using this term, what are we referring to? Uh, zombie. It says uh, I'm gonna get right to the meat of it, to the good parts. Um, it says what? It says what? Spirits of dead, wicked men that torment the living. Now, hey, that's <laughs> that, hey, that's funny, you know. Hey, dudes, you spiritually dead, tormenting the living with what? Your fucking stupidity. <laughs> uh, it says what? The sense of a reanimated corpse. It says what? Uh, fetish. Uh, it says a, a sense of a slow-witted person. A slow-witted person, y'all. And that's the main definition uh, definition behind it. A slow-witted person. Look up the word wit. Etymology, wit. Mental capacity says wit. Uh, understanding, intellect, sense, knowledge, consciousness, conscience. So a person of slow wit. A person of slow consciousness. Right? And many a Jake are they're slow in their understanding. They just lead, uh, they just w blindly. Aggressive, singularly focused human. Yep, he, the apostles going into the word here. Many, many Israelites who know that they're Israelites are just zombies. Being who has been altered by biological or mental infection and is an infection caused by a zombie virus. It's a zombies. So I was just checking on it. Uh, let's go to this real quick. Let's do this. Salakia. Yeah. Um, you know, not nothing, you know, just one of the uh, slow bellies. That's what it is. Yep. Titus 1 and 12. It says, one of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, matter of fact, I'll start at 10, Slack you. Let me start at 10. Titus 1 and 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. All right, so the wicked leaders who, in order to make gain, they teach things that they shouldn't be, right? Who, what what camps come to mind? I U I C I S U P K Genesis. Literally, they literally G -g 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 Genesis have money symbols all over their video, and you niggas is eating it up, right? It says uh, verse twelve. One of them, one of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, "The Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies." What does that term mean, slow bellies? Let's go take a look, y'all. Let's go take a look. Titus, what does it mean to be of a slow belly? What does a belly do, y'all? A belly digests food. It takes, it absorbs the nutrients out of food, discards what's left into waste. All right, so your body can make use of the nutrients so you can live. If, if it's slow, then what? Let's see, slow, argos, free from labor, at leisure, lazy shunning the labor which one ought to perform argos g692 
What is the labor that many Israelites should be performing? Studying, praying, fasting, the things that get you closer to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai yourself. But that requires manual labor, which many Jake they don't want to do. They just want they want someone else to do the thinking and the walking and the talking for them. And okay, well that person's gonna think, walk, and talk you into your destruction. Perfect. Uh, Argos. Slow where's belly's at? Gaster. So, so you know, belly, stomach, wound, a glutton, a gourmandizer, a man who is all as it were, who is as it were all stomach, right? So all the all they do is consume, but they're sl it's not it's not of any value. Lazy consumption, y'all. Wow. You know, you put those two words together. Lazy consumption. It's figuratively uh, by analogy, the matrix figuratively a gourmand the belly, which I will write. So somebody who they're lazy to perform, they're not swallowing down things at the speed and at the pace that they should, because of the man of the Lord is going to be what Sirach thirty nine and one. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men, and where subtle parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. This is our duty as students under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in which does the men who are set over us were our elders and apostles. And if you, uh, what do you mean nobody set over me? I'm a, no, you have men set over you to teach you. Jeremiah 3 and 15, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So, if we've been given pastors to feed us with knowledge and understanding, you have to ask yourself, are my pastors, am, am, am I just a zombie, or do I actually know these scriptures? And so a lot of Israelites, they don't know these scriptures. That's why they run around with their fringes. That's why they're running around thinking they're in the New Testament. That's why they're running around Sister, why are you wearing pants? <sighs> you know, uh, 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 just simple as you just just as simple as you want to be. Only knowing the the basic outside of the stadium, not knowing the inner parts, because they're none of the lords. Sorry, like y'all. I just had to pause it for a moment. Uh, halfway lost my train of thought, but <laughs> so like you. But basically, the point being. Uh, a lot of Jake that are that know that they're Israelites right now, they're not independent thinkers. And the way that our elders and apostles raised us up over here at Great Millstone is to be a, a independent thinker in the sense of you have the ability to, and which is all by the Holy Spirit, man. You can't make yourself of the elect. You can't make yourself deep. You can't make yourself knowledgeable. Either Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is dealing with you or he's not. Uh, and one of the things that's going to is one of the things that's going to be shown of the elect is their studiousness being able to study being able to understand that's just one of the prerequisites if you get mad at the fact that you have to study that you have to read then you're not of the elect it should it should how can you should be excited to learn something new that you can edify on to oh man i didn't used to have this understanding now i have this this is a this is a treasure you know because if if, if if every time you read a chapter, you got a new pair of Jordans, everybody would be reading 100 chapters a day. Or, you know, not everybody, because not all of us give a fuck about shoes. But you understand what I'm saying, right? If Jake got rewarded with Jordans for reading, Jake would be reading. <laughs> or if they got rewarded with Coochie, Jake could be reading. Some food, Xbox, right? Well, the true reward is the salvation, but it's, it's in longevity, so we have to wait. We're storing up this knowledge so that it's the what, y'all? Let me get that actually out of Isaiah. Um, see, right now, this is uh, this has latency, meaning it's it's lagging behind. As of right now, it doesn't come with the immediate reward compared to going out and physically obtaining something. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. This is going to be our stability. This is our treasure. When this shit pops off, y'all. If when this shit pops off, zombies aren't gonna know what to do. They don't know what to do now. So how are you gonna know how to navigate when the fucking world is 
is on fire. All right, I'm metaphorically speaking because all the world isn't going to get burned in nukes, but you know what I mean when I say that. Complete unrest, societal collapse, murder, bloodshed, pillaging, starvation, famine. If you if you didn't know that any of these things are coming, how would you be, be prepared? You wouldn't be. So where do you learn that these things are coming? In the scriptures. How do you learn that they're there? By not being a zombie. What do you have to do? Apply yourself. Revelation 1 and 3, blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Right. So and you go to that word there, read in the scriptures. One of the definitions means to understand. All right. To comprehend. All right. A matter of fact, witty, because uh, that definition there and that word for zombie, uh, this phrase was used in it. And I just remember the scripture dealing with Solomon. Dealing with his prayer, right? Wasn't the Solomon? Uh, we know that Solomon was Yahweh Shai in the reincarnation, or uh, in a in an earlier incarnation. Wasn't the Solomon eight and seventeen? It says, "Now I consider these things in myself and pondered them in my heart, how that to be allied unto wisdom is immortality. So to have wisdom in your in your backpack is immortality, y'all." And great pleasure it, it is to have her friendship. And in the works of her hands are infinite riches. And in the exercise uh, and in the exercise of conference with her, prudence. And in talking with her, a good report. I went about seeking how to take her to me. For I was a witty child and had a good spirit. Yeah, wow, so he was a witty child. He wasn't a slow wit like we just read dealing with that definition for zombie y'all all right so i'm not gonna drag this on but the whole point being man we can't be spiritual zombies we have to be what apt to teach blesses he that readeth we can we can't we can't uh hey kiss the sun least he be angry if you're neglecting your study time then you're not going to be uh deepening your spirit and when this destruction comes you'll be a shallow pit or you know you'll be at the, the the sea that landed on shallow ground you'll be easily dispersed at the waves of destruction that's about to come beat down on everybody's house rather than being built on that sound uh that that strong foundation uh that you read uh what is that matthew 7 and 24 all right so that's about it i just thought that was interesting man you come to uh i'm sorry the type of that word let's see let's see Right here, perfect, <laughs> perfect. Peter Jake is spiritual zombies, man. Dead, man. Don't know what the hell going trying to read and can't. Dead, spiritually dead. Perfect, found a perfect picture. Yo, hey, shalom, y'all. I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, the honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like the Akim Wa Akwa, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. Shalom.